Hi, and welcome back to a new episode of Let's Go See It. What you're seeing right now is a teardrop trailer, and the reason why you're looking at it is because we're gonna check it out with Cosmo Williams. We're gonna go on the inside. We're gonna look on everything there is to know about how to operate and use this trailer. By the time you get done with this video, you'll know exactly if this is the right move for you. We're in Aztec Island, which is where I met Cosmo and explored his trailer. So if you've never been here, you should absolutely check this out. There's a video of this on my channel. And for those of you who don't know, there are wild horses at Aztec Island. And we're going to take a quick look at some horses just right now. But without any delay, let's go right to the video and take a look at what this trailer is all about. Teardrop trailer. I just met O'Neill and he's got a YouTube channel and I said, hey, let's uh, let's work together. So uh, this is my trailer. It's uh, 1,300 pounds. I'm towing it with a Subaru Outback, uh, which is very important at this time. Uh, it was very important at this time of uh, high gas prices. You know, we're trying to help the Ukraine. It's a global problem, high gas prices. It's not centric to the U.S. You know, it's everywhere. So we're all doing our part and uh, I get 20 miles to the gallon towing this baby. When I unhook, I get like 36 miles, so it's a real cost-effective thing, and uh, it's lean and it's everything I need. So in here I have a water sink, I have a 9-gallon water supply, an electric pump, I just turn it on and I can pump water. On this side I have a gray water tank, that catches the water that's coming out of here. That's required in a lot of areas, they don't want you mixing soap suds out in the wilderness at all. Everything I use is biodegradable here, but still, you know, that's the agreement, in some places you have to do that. So. I catch my waste water on this side. On this side I have a plumbing, I have a cutting board that goes up on here because when you're in a teardrop trailer, you don't have a real lot of counter space. This is critical. You know, when you're cooking and all, you need uh, you need some counter space, and I create my own with tables. But uh, so I've got the, the plumbing over here. bucket, you put a plastic bag in it, and how uh, you do your business there, wrap it up and take it home like a, like your dog or your baby diaper, you know, and take it somewhere where you can dispose of it. Okay. Over here, uh, I like to go out camping for long periods of time. In November, I was up in the main north woods, I was up there for 20 days out in the wilderness, no reason why nothing. And uh, this is a, an electric refrigerator, and uh, it's a one cubic foot, and uh, it you know it just it just is great. You know it's super high efficient because you know I'm on battery power, and uh, of course I have uh, the whole trailer, the whole trailer solar powered. I have a 120 amp hour battery inside the trailer. When I go off grid with this stuff, now this is uh, 600 watts of solar power. Each panel's 300. That's way more than you need if you live in Arizona or New Mexico, but I don't live there. I live in cloudy areas. And on a cloudy day, this 300 watt panel may only put out 30 watts, so I have to have superior capacity. Rain, clouds, you know, all the different situations. So, uh, so back in the kitchen, on this side, we have uh, you know, drawers, you know, drawers. Uh, collapsible wash tubs. Very important. Very important. Uh, and, so uh, this essentially is a shower. Well, yeah, you know, you're 100% right. You know, and I, I often use this thing. If I'm washing my uh, little hair I have left, <laughs> I use this thing. And don't miss my channel, Cosmo Weems. Cosmo Weems. Cosmo Weems, my channel. Uh, okay, so... Um, yeah, this, this, I can do laundry in this. I can uh, wash myself. It's just really practical. Everything has to be small to the trailer. Um, same down here, lots of, you know, I like to I cook everything. So, you know, I like to, uh, I do have a little bit. And uh, in order to cook, you have a uh, two burner stove. Oh, wow. Propane powered. And uh, I can run this for a long time with the fuel I have. You have AC outlets 
if the trailer, if I'm in a campground with an outlet, you know, with an uh, uh, extension, uh, with, a, with a AC power, I can plug an extension cord to the side of my trailer over here, and uh, that will power the whole trailer. Uh, so I can do that. The other is power three ways. AC power, if I'm hooked to the car, that will charge the battery. And top off my uh, my my, my uh, trailer while I'm driving, so that's a great thing. And then the third way, of course, is uh, solar power. And I'm also using the Jackery device, which I really like. Your uh, battery in a box, you can you know take this anywhere and plug in whatever you want. You have AC, DC, you know, you have everything. Your your USB. So they're real popular. So in here, there's a pass through. There's a pass through to the interior of the trailer. And uh, that way I can pass things back and forth if I'm in there. My girlfriend's going to be like, hey, you know, give me a beer, you know. So uh, that works out pretty well. Uh, you have all your uh, your stuff, you know, knife, fork, and spoon, all the other stuff. It's really healthy living. Electric lighting up here for nighttime use. Go around that side. In here in the cabin, the cabin is all wood. You don't want to get down there again. The cabin is all wood. Uh, when you lay down in here, you know, you have a beautiful wood cabinet and uh, the, what, you know, I have storage back here. Storage is critical. It's like counter space. You can't have enough of it. So I have all this storage back here. I have storage up here. And when I close these, I get privacy. And in the front, if I close this, I get privacy. And uh, I have storage up in front. And I have AC outlets and DC outlets for the whole trailer. You're never more than a foot away from an outlet. Now, most teardrop trailers give you a bed. And uh, that's all you get. And now that's great. You know, it's wonderful. You can never have enough bed. But uh, occasionally, if you're pinned down in bad weather, you need more, you know, movement. This one, you have... And you can just get in here, and uh, you know you have your uh, your, uh, your your place. You have a room, a beautiful wood cabin, with a fantastic view. I can just sit here with uh, binoculars and just really enjoy the whole experience. I've got underfloor storage, uh, and I have underfloor storage over here. So it uh, it all works out great. You know, it's just a, a great system. You know, I have a fan up here. I can bring a. Uh, I can just open it up, draw hot air, draw air out. I also have propane heat. This has got a hot air heating system. Uh, back here, this is a, a heat register, thermostat, and uh, and uh, and on off and all that. You know, thermostat. So it's uh, it's really good AM FM stereo. You know, it's not Bluetooth, but I can wire in my MP3 player. And uh, up front, we have the uh, the propane setup. Is I that, bought that's two for the heat. It's cold. Yeah, for the heat. For and the stove. stove. So you usually you only need one. But it's been cold, so I, I don't want to sleep cold. So I here I go in there, I can make it 80 degrees if I want. You know, it's like a sauna. So uh, it's really great. Now, again, space is everything. So they built in. This guy, Bert uh, Taylor, this is a vestibule trailer. Bert Taylor built these things. And uh, he built in these extra tables for you. So when you close the door, you have a table. Or if you want to serve cheese and crackers. Uh, the windows all open. And, uh, they have to stand here. And uh, they're, you know, slanted so when it rains, you can rain in the trailer. And you have a uh, porthole over here. This also opens. So in very hot weather, I didn't get air conditioning. Some people get air conditioning. You can only use that on grid right now. Because it draws so much juice. You know, some people have managed to do it off grid. But uh, I have four windows and uh, these doors are big and I have a roof fan. So I, I never really suffer too much in the summer. If it's really bad, I'll bring a small 12 volt box fan and put it in the trailer and, uh, and have comfort, you know? <laughs> so it's, uh, it's pretty good living. Uh, I just, in the adventure, have you been to the high rent area up there with all those huge RVs and the big buses? No, I, I, I'm sorry, I've seen, I've seen them on the way down here, yes. Yeah, single digit, you know, uh, gas mileage, mm -hmm. diesel, which is going to cost you like five bucks a gallon right now, which, you know, it's great. You know, if that's what you want to do, hey, go for it, you know. But I didn't want to bring my house with me. I want to be out in nature, and uh, this this gets me there. This is between a tent and those things. Yeah, and pulling, pulling, with your, pulling with your car here, 36 miles without a gallon without the car, 
without the trailer. Without the trailer, and with the trailer, just 20 miles. That's right, and uh, that's that's a pretty good compromise, you know. I mean, it's really. Well, I'm up in Canada; they don't have that uh, alcohol gas. Mm -hmm. uh, I get better. I get 24 miles to the gallon. Wow. So, uh, but you know, you know, you want to think about the environment. You want to think about you're having fun. You, know, you want to make the least impact you can make, and and this this helps me. I'm not a you know. I'm not saying I'm pollution free, but I uh, I certainly consider what I'm doing, you know. <laughs> and uh, you know, I just love it. I just love being out in nature, bird watching. The horses are here, you know. It's a bee, the moose are out, you know. You just can't get enough. So I hope you'll consider watching my channel, Cosmo Weems on YouTube, C O S M O W E E M S, and I will definitely be checking out. Let's go see it. I'll definitely be checking you out. Wonderful to meet you. Well, thank you, Cosmo. I appreciate the tour, and uh, I wish you the best of luck while you're staying here in Maryland. Great. Thank you very much.